Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you this cute little, um, I've called it a book fold tea light thank you gift. And I'm not going to undo this bow because it won't go up again, but inside, oh go on, I'll show you. Inside it has two little tea lights. Now you could always add um, a little message here if you wanted to, or if you were going to use these as favours at a wedding, um, you could maybe get some stickers that just have the names and dates of the wedding on here or something. I've left it blank because I don't really need to add a message, but it just simply folds up, as I said, like a book, and then you just tie the bow. Famous last words, I know. Ugh. Come back, come back. Saved. Okay crumbs I did it that was a miracle first time so yes yeah, so it's just a cute little book fold thank you gift um, now I can't take full credit to this I got the idea of this um, book folding bit from the fabulous Angelina of Intertwine Designs who did some really cute little mini post-it notes with a very similar with the same sorry um, book wrap um, but I thought I'd have a go at doing it with some tea lights um, and I did a double one so hope you like it I'll show you how to make it so this one is in soft suede and I've used the beautiful neutrals DSP as well here the coordinating one so the one I'm going to make for you is in um, Mary Merlot or Mary Merlot however you pronounce it so you need two pieces of cardstock which are four by four yes I have only got one here because I pre-made the other one um, two, sh two squares of 4x4 four four cardstock and that is 10x10 10 10 centimetres um, and then for the actual book piece itself, the wrap round, it's 1 and 3 quarters by 8 and 5 eighths and that's 22 centimetres by 4.5. We'll come to the candle bits first, so these sit the tea lights. So as I said, 4x4 four four, and we're simply going to score at half and one and a quarter on all four sides so half an inch one and a quarter and that is one and three centimeters half and one and a quarter so you would do that on both of your squares and then we're going to fold and burnish all of those score lines And then if you recently watched my hand stamped gift box, you will see that when I made the lid of the box, I did this exact same cutting. So it's exactly the same for this one. So we're just simply cutting away wedges on all of it, basically. So I'll do that again. So with it facing you, and obviously they're all the same size, so sides are all the same, so you don't need to pick a one particular side. You simply cut down the two long bits here, cut this one away and then, and then a little bit of a wedge, cut away the extra bit on top there, wedges on either side of here and then just a little wedge on there. Okay, so I'll do that again, down the two long ones. Cut away, cut away, cut away, one, two, three, whoops, throwing it at you, four wedges, okay, so long, long, cut away, cut away, wedge, 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 wedge done so do that with both of your boxes like I said with both of your four by four pieces and then we need to put some adhesive on so with your box so that it's sort of sitting up like that you need to put adhesive on the four tabs 
and then very carefully and if needs be get a silicone mat flip it over and put adhesive on the inside of these four bits here okay so we make our box as you would normally any box pop those tabs just on the inside and then I'm going to tuck that that and that in so it's out of the way so that I can put this last bit together and then this one oops will go over there get off my glue and then that one tucks inside and then we just get our bone folder reinforce that fold there and it also just helps the glue adhere a bit of fuse there okay so there's your box so you've made two up and your tea light will just sit in that one's a fraction bigger it's strange anyway so those are your two boxes put those to one side so as I said you then need your book fold piece and this is one and three quarters by eight and five eighths which is 22 centimeters by 4.5 and then we're going to score at one and three quarters and three and a half and then we're going to rotate it and do it the same the other end it just saves you having to measure silly measurements in the middle here so one and three quarters and three and a half and that's nine four point five and nine and then rotate it 4.5 and 9. That back out of the way and then back in with our bone folders and then when so now these bits will be folded over and the reason for this is for the ribbon but you may notice that when you fold this over it's strange because it hasn't done it on this one but when I did it on this one I had to trim a tiny bit of cardstock because it just overlapped slightly this one hasn't and doesn't look like it will so that's fine so you've got this house shape fold these two pieces in so that you've got that C shape hold it tight handheld punch and you want to catch it in the centre but not complete so halfway just like that same again on the other side beautiful then you need your ribbon this is the beautiful team tea room combo ribbon and this one has copper in it so make sure you've got a couple of lengths that you are going to be able to fit and tie a bow in the end and then from either end it doesn't really matter feed it through and then once you think that's enough add some adhesive on the inside and I just fold my ribbon up like that and then make sure that's straight fold this end down and just reinforce it and then I do exactly the same this side so catch that ribbon through and then adhesive from there whoops tuck that up there make sure that's coming out straight and reinforce that bit there okay so there you have your ribbons so now you want to pop your DSP on so again this is the neutrals DSP um, and this is let me just put some adhesive on this is one and a half by four and seven eighths that's 12.4 by 3.8 centimeters and I'm literally just going to put it on giving myself a bit of room there make sure it's straight put that first piece on and then gently bend it onto that piece and then the same goes again just bend it slightly and there you have your DSP and your beautiful book fold and then we just need to pop these on and decorate it 
I do apologise, my nose is itching again from naughty hay fever. So with these, I'm going to tip them upside down and pop fuse on the bottom. You can use any other glue, you could use tear and tape or Tombow or anything really. So I put them, making sure that my joins are the right way. So I'm going to put them one on top of the other and then, in fact, I'm telling you fibs, the bottom one you put in first. So you need to, that one's falling out for some reason. This one isn't look at all. This one keeps falling out, so it's clearly a slightly different size. This, this edge sits against this crease here, this edge against this crease, and then you need to make sure you've got an equal space top and bottom and that it's at a 90 degree angle so that it, you know that it will fit and close. So, yeah, I'm happy with that one. I'll use the candle just to press down. And then I sit this one on the top and then just fold that over. And then again, you can open it out, press in the candle you see that one doesn't fall out at all, but that one does. And that is your box. You see that's bigger, isn't it? It's just not right at all. And then you just need to tie your bow. This one isn't going to look as half as pretty as the other one. Not the bow, I mean the box. Because it's not the right size. I don't quite know what happened there. But yes. You need to make sure, you need to be a bit a bit mean with this, but when you tie your bow, you kind of have to pull it over tight. So if the one box tucks into the other one, don't worry, because you need it tight to keep those two together. Oh my goodness, come on. <sighs> Take a deep breath, try again. Try it at a different angle. Just in case. Right. Tight. Bow. Done. Better. Right. If your bow tails are a little bit long, just give them a little trim. Just remember to leave enough there to be able to tie them. Not bad, I suppose. Right, let's decorate the top. So, I've got my one and three quarter circle punch and some copper foil sheet, just there. And if, like me, you get just tiny little dinks from the punch, then just use your bone folder to smooth it out. We're then gonna add, I'm not gonna add dimensionals that are all stuck together, oh, crumbs. Right, flip that over. Some dimensionals on the back of there. And that will just sit on the top of the box. And I've used copper because there's copper in the ribbon and I wanted to try and pull it all in together. And then, last but not least, the beautiful A Good Day. And again, it's got so many different bits that you can use. Um, I do like the thank you so much. I think it's really quite cute. So pop that on a block. I've got some very vanilla and then we're just going to heat emboss it. So use my embossing buddy to get rid of any residue off my hands. Have my Versamark. Nice and juicy. Pop that on. My copper, copper embossing powder as it says on the lid. <laughs> and then just sprinkle this over. Fabulous. And then we just need to be a bit noisy and heat that up. And I've got a bit of a dodgy heat tool that starts off fast and then goes down to the quiet, slower heater. Or slower heat, should I say, but Hopefully this won't take too long now, it's going already. And then we just simply heat the copper. There we go. 
and then last but not least I have my one and a half circle punch just need to make sure that's dry because I have smudged embossing before now by pushing it through a punch before it's ready come on don't play today come on There we go, right, get that in the right place. And then, I thought that looked a little bit lopsided then, but I don't think it does. Just straighten that bit out, and then we just need a couple of dimensionals on the back of here, and then stick this in place. And there we have it. Two cute little book fold tea light thank you gifts. Thank you for being patient with me. Hope you enjoyed it um, and I hope you have a go at making some of these little cute things yourselves. As I say they'd be perfect for tab table favours um, or for parties. Um, obviously the tea lights are from Ikea so they are really really cheap um, and you can get quite a few out of their packs. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye!